All right. So on this problem, Courtney, not yet. One more. You write this one now. One more. So on this problem, ladies and gentlemen, let's go back through what we should have done for the other problem, right? For that other problem, we had to multiply by this i on top and bottom, right? So if you guys were to do that for this one, if you were to multiply by i over i, we would get a problem because you're going to get 3i squared on the top, which is good. But then on the bottom, what you have to do is you have to make sure you apply distributive property, right? So when you get to the bottom, what happens is you get 4i plus 2i squared. So it's good for this one. But guess what? Now you have 4i again on the bottom. So multiplying by i over i when you have a binomial on your bottom, Mallory, is not going to help. Shit. All right? If when you had a monomial, you can multiply by i over i. Now when you have a binomial, you can't just multiply because you have to apply distributive property. So let's go and take a look at what else could we do then. How can I get rid of my i as my divisor? How can I get rid of this i as on the bottom? What we can do, you're going to want to multiply it by what we call the conjugate. And if you guys look at this conjugate, the conjugate is the exact same binomial. Why did I do that, too? It's the exact same binomial, except if this one's positive, this one's negative. All right? Mr. McBrogan, change the top one. Yeah, thank you. Mr. <laughs> so. Now, let's go ahead and multiply this. And the other thing we notice is this is what we call a difference of two squares. We have the same numbers, one being positive, one being negative. If you guys remember when we were practicing factoring, if you guys remember if I said if it's difference of two squares, a squared minus b squared, the factored form was a plus b times a minus b. So what I'm really doing is I'm multiplying an expression that looks like this, meaning the same two terms. Same two terms, one, na one subtract, one positive. So this is the same thing. So all I need to do is say, oh, this is a squared minus b squared. So it's really, um, on the denominator, I'm going to have 4 squared minus 2i squared. On the top, I need to make sure I apply distributive property, which is 12i. And then this is going to be minus 6i squared. Now. 4i, or let's finish this up. So this is i squared is negative 1. Negative 1 times negative 6 is a positive 6. So it's 12i plus 6 on my numerator. 4 squared is 16. 2i squared is going to be 4i squared, which would be a negative 4. Minus a negative 4 is going to be plus 4. Continuing this problem, I'm going to rearrange this to 6 plus 12i divided by 20. Then I break it up. And now I go ahead and simply simplify, which is 3 tenths plus 3 fifths i. There's your answer. We'll do a little bit more. We'll do a lot more practice with this next class period.